In March of 2022, I moved back to Norway again. I chose Trondheim for many reasons. One was wildlife. A lot had to be organized, but I saw myself outside again very quickly to look after local animals. Since I came here, I've seen roe deer twice and squirrels just sitting over my head. So we're just trying out if we could get something like that. Now, I'm just basically looking after a place that I would like to sit down and wait. It did not take long to find a good spot, but as usual, I went through the common struggle. Do I set up my tripod for deer or a tiny squirrel? I ended with a compromise that doesn't satisfy any wildlife photographer. So there has just been a squirrel down at the tree. I was a bit surprised or not. But he wasn't sure if he wants to come down while I'm sitting here. So, I guess we just wait and see. The camouflage is mostly for the deer. There's always a squirrel around, but it's just not trusting me that much, but it's getting better, I think. So we're just gonna try again, but now, for now, it's just starting to snow. I will uh, go home, warm up a bit, maybe warm shower, something like that, hot tea, and yeah. Just gonna enjoy the evening and try this more, uh, more. I spent some more days outside without luck. But eventually I decided that I should really work on finally getting decent squirrel images. It would take time until I got my real chance. But I had to be patient. My time was coming in June. Might have been raining buckets for weeks, but I found a location with decent activity not far from my home. There were many signs of squirrels, but also badgers, moose and pine marten. I left the hideout for weeks so that the animals could get used to it. The trail camera would always keep an eye out for what was going on. When I went out to shoot, I was going with a realistic goal. I would like to see a squirrel. Everything else would be a huge bonus. Now in my height, the first things I do, I get my equipment out. I'm loud now if I have to build everything up and get ready to shoot because you never know when the animals will turn up and squirrels are sometimes really, really fast. And yeah, I will focus on squirrels right now because I realized I've never really done any specific squirrel photography. Now the first animals are getting closer to us. I'm getting ready now. One thing I usually do in the beginning is I also check what's on the camera here, on the wildlife camera, to see what happened while I was gone. And then I put a new card in until the next time. I note these things down and yeah, write down at home what I've seen at what times.
A small announcement in between, fellow YouTuber Jeremy Knight is bringing the first wildlife photography contest on YouTube, the annual Bird Burger Awards, and here you can participate in different categories, birdscape, portrait, creative, and you can just follow the link down below if you're interested and join the competition. I will be on as a judge and I'm just looking forward to see all your photos and yeah, build my opinion about them and see what the other judges think. Today I will try something besides just taking normal photos. I want to underexpose for a reason. And that means we just put the exposure down to darken the background and isolate our subject. And that's as easy as it is. Now I'm very happy that I could be outside today, um, that I found the time, because it was not so easy. Um, we have a really bad summer here in Norway, considering um, it's really hot in Europe, right? Heat. Uh, here, though, it has been raining nearly for two months. I might not have gotten it right the first times, but after watching my squirrel friends chase each other around the place, the sun and the setting were slowly lining up for me. Thanks so much for tuning in. This was another Marka episode here in my local forest. Uh, I hope to do something in fall, maybe with artificial light, but I have to test that out and experiment a bit. So if you like the video, click the like button. I hope you follow around for more adventures. And I have a lot coming up in fall, I think. Bye.